Yeah, so I have some uh, gigs coming up. As always, some like jazz gigs. I want to try to get some synth sounds out for some more, again, 80s style Matheny type things. And uh, I've created a couple of presets, and as always, I'll, I'll put them online, you to download. Uh, and uh, the first one is more like a, a Matheny style. And I think the trick here, I, I, actually, before doing this, uh, I looked at a few other people on, on YouTube that created some, some synths. And basically, they all were, were saying that all you need is just a relatively decent output pickups. And uh, as a matter of fact, I think my 335 tracks better than my Strat for some reason, especially on the higher notes. And you want to really smash the compressor. Uh, you see the, the LA Studio comp that I put here is pretty much maxed out as a limiter. And uh, in, in actually, in the, in the preset I have, a, a gate as well um, at the moment it's turned off but I think in the preset that, I, that you will download is turned on so try and experiment a little bit by turning off and on the, the gate you know all these synths are in the legacy part of the HX Stump Excel and uh, the first one is a, again a, a Matheny style you know like are you going with me that type of that type of era And you can hear that it tracks relatively well. It's quite, you know, okay to play. There are some areas, and I don't know if it's because I'm maybe just pushing down with my hand. It does this kind of random tracking errors. That's maybe why sometimes the gate works well. But otherwise, obviously it's monophonic, so it can play only one note at a time. And you can hear when I'm playing like a sixth. There's a little glitch in the min in the middle, so I think it's probably best to just stick to. You know that style of playing, so to speak. Uh, there's a reverb, obviously. There's a reverb and a delay. You can hear it. I'm going to turn those two off. That's just uh, the synth, and this is with the uh, Cosmos Echo. And the uh, the reverb before that, to just to to do that bloom kind of effect. The second um, the second synth is more of an eighties. It's a bit louder. Uh, sometimes, like Altward, you you know used some of these, and I think it's in the Sand album. There's another guy who was quite popular in Italy, a session keyboard player. From the states called David Sanchez, I think it toured with Sting as well at some point. He had these type of um, like M1 DX7, maybe a not a keyboard player. So I apologize if I'm quoting the wrong synth, but but definitely they're more in that R&B. more that type of stuff. I quite like that. And the third one is just a bit of fun, so to speak. It's more like a trance. I don't think I'm going to use this one for jazz, but it seems... There's some kind of slight pitch shifting in there to make it slightly out of tune, so to speak. But I quite like, especially on the low end. Seems to be okay. There's one little trick that I use. I, for some sounds, I tend to turn the, the, the tone all the way off. It seems to track better, so to speak, um, and help a little bit with the dynamic, because obviously you want to keep the dynamic really narrow. Yeah, you want to keep the dynamic really, really narrow, so to speak, because that's how synths work. You know, like you, you just press or release, and that's the, the note starts and stops. So, 
yeah, that's the idea. Um, hope you enjoy playing with these. Uh, I'm going to now, from now on, I'm going to, uh, so I have a bit more control on, on uh, tweaking the sounds to this because I, you know, all these presets, I actually use them in real life and I try to always keep them updated and tweak them. And so I've created a, a, a folder and a zip file that you will be able to download. And I put everything on uh, something like a Dropbox style folder and you can go on my website. I'll, I'll post a link in the description and in a pinned comment and you will be able to download the, the, you know, the latest zip file from time to time. Um, just, you know, go through the same process or there will be a link within the zip file for you to just go straight to the, uh, you know, to the, the folder. And um, um, I know always have the, the latest versions to speak of the sounds. It's all free, but obviously, if you want, you can make a donation as well. While your your download it will be like a, a drop down style menu if you want to make a donation. I find it this way, rather than you know, as much as good to have the line six uh, page community page where I used to put the sounds. I find that I have a little bit more control on how to update them without having to always upload a new version of it. I, I find this a bit more, um, yeah, it's easier to deal with, so to speak. And I will keep adding throughout the next months, as I always do, because always, I'm always trying to make sounds for gigs and stuff like that. Uh, as always, if this is of any value, please consider sharing this with uh, any friends or through social media. Um, obviously, you, you know, press the like button. This all helps the channel to grow. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Actually, again, that's probably the best thing you can do to make the channel grow if you're into this kind of stuff. I tend to post some, you know, uh, Line 6 related sounds, uh, uh, patches, and a lot of instructional stuff as well. If you check in my channel, there's a lot of jazz instructional and rock instructional stuff. Um, but more like pop, I guess, uh, you know, call it, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm a rock guitarist. Uh, but um, yeah, um, hope you enjoy this. Take care. Bye-bye.